Hello friends! So today's video is going to be very different but I don't know if anybody's gonna care but I'm gonna do a life update. Today I'm gonna talk to you about some things because there's some exciting things happening in my life right now. I am going back to school starting tomorrow. I'm going to go back and get my MBA. So I'm really excited about that. So if in the first couple of weeks videos are coming or not coming, try to be kind to me and I, I really appreciate your understanding. So um, this is, you know, something I've wanted to do for a while and now I guess it's just the right time right now for me to go back to school. I'm really excited about this decision. I'm excited about the program I chose. I'm excited about the classes I'm going to be taking. So I'm going to be doing school online actually. So it's going to be like an online MBA program. I'm really excited about it. I know it's going to be a lot of work, but I'm also really excited about it. I love school. I love going to school. I love learning. I love having structured programs to learn. I'm excited. Also, I have a new roommate. New roommates, I guess. Uh, Cameron and Laura Jackson sent Adam, Baymax, and Hero, and I guess they're living with me right now. They slept in here last night over there kind of beside my bed. They did not creep me out at all last night. They were in my bathroom and they couldn't stay in there. I just don't want anybody in the bathroom with me. They don't need to be in there, but they're in here, so that's okay. I have been reading quite a lot recently. I have finished four or five books in the last couple of weeks. The first book I read was like while I was here in Alaska was The Princess Bride. Wow, what a great book. If you haven't read that book, you should totally read that book. And then what did I read next? And then I started reading this one, which is the new like prequel to The Hunger Games by the same author. Uh, it was just released recently. Adam actually pre-ordered it for me and picked it up at Target while I was still under quarantine. And I didn't make it very far. I'm less than 50 pages in. And I just, I don't know, I couldn't get into it. Maybe I need to read that series again to get into that book. I don't know. But it's it wasn't singing to me, so I put it down and I picked up this one, which my sister introduced me to. And it reminds me a lot of Anastasia, sort of because she's Russian and her name is Anna, funny, but she also kind of is a countess. Below stairs means like you're a maid, it's old old, old English. So under below stairs kind of means that you work below stairs. You're not part of the family, you're part of the house staff. So she gets a job working as a maid in this house it's a really good book. It's really easy for me to read. Like, it only took me a couple of days to finish this one. I like it a lot. It's simple, but it's fun and happy. And it's, I think it was written in the 80s. I don't know, but I really like it. And then I started reading The Lunar Chronicles. This is the first book in the series. This isn't a book, it's just the like dust cover because Adam is currently reading the first book. I want him to read more. And so I told him that I would like read these books with him so I'm reading them first he's still on the first book and I actually just started the fourth book this morning because I stayed up until 2 30 this morning finishing the third book because it was just too good to put down but that's how I've been spending a lot of my time my free time lately is reading books and going to bookstores and looking at more books because why wouldn't I also, I wanted to give you an update on my water bottle sticker collection because I've been trying to collect stickers everywhere that I go here in Alaska. This one is the Wildlife the Conservation Center and I got one with a bear on it because that's where I saw bears. And this one I got at Denali and this one I got at uh, Glen Allen. So, and this one I got at Talkeetna when we were eating at the Denali Brewing Company. They had some Denali Brewing Company stickers, but I didn't like them. I liked the Ciderworks sticker better because it's shaped weird and I like the ones that are shaped weird. But I had some of the ciders there too, so it's fine. And also this one, 
why do i love this one so much i feel like it's me being weird is beautiful it's not focusing there we go anyway so that's where i'm at with my stickers on my water bottle i have a couple more stickers that i need to put on because i haven't done it yet and one of them is actually given to me so i picked out this one so it keeps Bernard weird it looks like the star wars font and it makes me happy but we had tommy's burgers that day and we picked them up and i just thought you know if they have stickers i need a cheeseburger sticker it's not a cheeseburger sticker but i liked it a whole lot who doesn't want a star wars sticker and then the lady gave me this one and I'm, I guess she thought we were really fun people. I don't know. I didn't even go inside. Adam went inside to pick up the burgers and we took them to Sherry at her office and we ate them there. I didn't even go inside, but she gave us a sticker for free because she thought we were fun people. Cool. I just got off of a YouTube live stream with Adam and Sherry just like a couple of minutes ago and so many of you were there and we didn't even really tell a lot of people that this was happening so thank you for showing up if you were there i had somebody ask about my my mickey ears on my watch i'm gonna see if i can link this one i know that they when i got this i think it was a couple years ago now i think it was really kind of hard to find the ones for this watch i have the version 4 and it's the big one the 44 millimeter one and it was really difficult to find this one it wasn't on prime then but i will see if i can find it if i can find it i will link it in this video we're still doing keto we're gonna try to do keto until cameron and laura get here next week so they're gonna fly in next saturday no sunday they're flying in next sunday and we're gonna go straight to moose's tooth when they get here which is a pizza place here in anchorage and have pizza and beer and have a good time and get to meet them in person which is really exciting laura has a youtube channel and she's been doing vlogs and in the last one cameron made pizza and it looks amazing but like the moose's tooth pizza is really amazing i haven't eaten cam's pizza so i have no idea if his pizza is as good as moose's tooth but i kind of want to guess that it's probably not because moose's tooth is fantastic and they do half and half whatever it doesn't matter but if you come to Alaska, you should definitely go to Moose's Tooth. That should be a priority. If you come to Alaska and you're in Anchorage, Moose's Tooth is a destination. You need to make it happen. It's so good. We, what did we do this weekend? We went shopping and ran a bunch of errands yesterday. The Joanne Fabrics here in Anchorage, there are two of them. And they're both closing because they're going to close both stores and merge them into one super joanne store but right now they're having closing sales like right now everything everything like the tables in joanne fabrics are 40 to 60 percent off so we went to joanne fabrics yesterday we went to michael's yesterday we went to where did we go yesterday the farmer's market we went to the farmer's market here in anchorage yesterday and that was really cool but there wasn't a whole lot there a lot of beautiful produce was there lettuces and carrots purple carrots and the radishes this is gonna be weird i wanted to buy the radishes to snack on in the car but i didn't know if they were clean or not so i didn't get any oh we went to ulta yesterday and i got a face mask and it's just one that i want to try so i just got the little like sampler pack thingy but it's a peel off mask because i feel like I need to do that. Maybe I'll do that tonight. I might do a face mask tonight. But Adam and I and Sherry will sometimes do like face mask nights where we all do a face mask and that's really fun. Like treat yourself kind of thing, which you should do. If you don't, you should do that. <sighs> what else? Oh, today uh, and last night actually. So we came home from running errands yesterday and we've been like working our way up to cleaning out their studio particularly the closet in there needed some attention and love and so we tackled it yesterday and sherry and i finished it this morning because we've kind of been having discussions about moving her etsy stuff which was upstairs in their living room down into their studio so they have a table that they film at and we moved her etsy stuff down into 
the studio, which is over there, which is why I keep pointing over there. And now she's going to use that studio as her Etsy shop workspace when they're not filming. So I'm really excited. It looks fantastic. And there's so much more space for things like for the things that she has for her Etsy shop, like the bags and the ears and the boxes that you ship things in. Cause that's not something that you think about, but when you have an Etsy shop and you make ears and then you have to ship them somewhere, you have to have something to ship them in. And those boxes take up a lot of space. Like you wouldn't think so, but they do. And then all of the bags and all the, like the tissue paper and the beads and the foam and the Cricut, like the Cricut itself, everything has a home now. And I'm so excited to like get to work in there with her. We're gonna be doing a launch, another launch on her Etsy shop in the coming weeks. So I'll be dropping some hints here and there as we start working. I have no idea when we're gonna start working. I think she wanted to start working today. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but I am really excited. Also, update on my toe. My toe is healing fine. So if you have any concerns about an ingrown toenail, message me on Instagram. Uh, I'll actually link my Instagram in my description box. I haven't been doing that because I didn't know if anybody would care, but I feel like I probably should start doing that. Not that you have to follow me. You don't have to follow me on Instagram. I am not good at posting things on Instagram, particularly photos of myself. I don't really post pictures of myself very often. I don't take pictures of myself. So I've posted a lot of pictures of myself up here because Adam takes pictures of me and they're not bad pictures. So when I post a picture of myself, it's probably not taken by me. It's probably taken by somebody else. You don't have to follow me on Instagram because I know that I'm boring, but you can message me there if you have any concerns about an ingrown toenail. Not a big deal, okay? Like I am terrified of needles and like the biggest deal about having an ingrown toenail removed is the shot, like the numbing shot. I am not good at that. <sighs> Gives me anxiety just thinking about it. Anyway, I want y'all to know I'm healing fine, so I'm probably not gonna talk about it anymore, but I've had a couple of questions about that. I'm doing okay, so dismissing those now. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about, okay, so Adam goes on Instagram Live all the time, and I will hop in just to make sure that he's not saying bad things about me not really I just put him on so like I can hear what he's saying because usually he does it in the house and I can kind of hear that he's talking but I can't hear what he's actually saying so I'll just turn him on on my phone but I've seen some people asking when I'm going home I have no idea when I'm going home it won't be in July I don't think I think I'm staying until August I have no idea what's happening I don't have a return ticket when I bought my airplane ticket up here, I bought a one-way ticket, which is terrifying, but I don't have a return ticket home. I, at this point, don't have any immediate plans to return home. I have no idea when I will be going home. I don't think it will be before August. If it's before August that I go home, it's because something has happened at home and I'm needed there. But Right now, plan is to stay another six weeks. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So, lots going on in my life right now. I wanted to get on here and share, and I wanted to just talk to you guys for a few seconds, minutes, 15 minutes. Oh my gosh. Anyway, not a big deal, but if you care, now you know. So, like, just gonna repeat what I said at the beginning, I'm going to school, and I start tomorrow, and the upload schedule may be a little bit wonky for a while, and if I, if I get to the point where I can't sustain it, I'm just gonna cut back to two videos a week, but right now, the plan is still videos Sunday, Monday, Thursday, I'm gonna try to start putting vlogs up on Sunday, because that seems to, like, it works for me. So I've got a vlog from this last weekend, so I'll probably put that up next Sunday. And then I'll start doing like other videos Monday and Thursday, and I think that's gonna work better, but we'll see. 
because I know I've missed a couple videos in the last couple weeks. But that's the plan right now. Thank you for watching. If you have subscribed, thank you. I can't believe the explosion of subscribers here on this channel. Hello, my name is Auburn. I'm in Alaska for the summer. Welcome to this channel. If you have any Disney questions, I welcome them. If you have any Alaska questions or places you want me to go, things you want me to see while I'm here in Alaska, I think I'm gonna be having time to do those things while I'm here, so you, maybe you can leave those suggestions in a comment. Oh, um, I wanted to talk about subscriptions and notifications. If you are subscribed, I think my videos should show up in your subscription box. If you are not subscribed, it's a free thing. You can subscribe and then my videos should show up in your subscription box on the YouTube you know, website. If you want like an email or push notification for when I post a video, then I think you have to click the bell to like sign up for notifications. I don't know. It's complicated and it shouldn't be but you can do that, that is also free. So if you wanna like know when a video goes up, I don't know why you would wanna do that, but if you do, there you go. And then thumbs up and a thumbs down. If you like a video, you can thumbs it up. You know, I appreciate that, thank you. If you don't like a video for any reason, like give me a thumbs down and then like tell me why, because I wanna be better, I wanna improve. This is like, almost like school to me i'm i'm learning here so if there's something that you don't like if you don't like where i am what i'm wearing what i look like you can say that but also like i can't get better if you don't tell me what you don't like so share those thoughts with me in a kind way but you know if if there's something you don't like you can hit the thumbs down but then tell me why in a comment because I want to hear those things. I want to improve. I want you guys to like these videos and find them help find them helpful. I also want to not spin and trip all over my words, but you know, one thing at a time. So that's it for today. You'll see me really soon. Bye everybody.